Alright, welcome back for the second video of uh, me having to do a voiceover. So, last time we defeated the Elder, and I didn't see any spots on the map where I uncovered a little bit of what I thought was potentially swamp. And what I'd like to do is the biome that I'm currently on, I would like to see about discovering what's more at the other end of the biome where we are. Because we've only really looked at a little bit of the biome that we're currently on. Um, what I want to do is I just want to take off and do a little bit more of Explorer. I'm going to empty out these um, beehives here first before we take off. Uh, let's get this stuff tucked away. And then uh, we're going to take off. I've got stuff on my inventory to do a portal. So if we find anything interesting, um, I've got one set up as an Explorer. Stuff on me to put the other end of that to connect. And uh, we're going to go take off and see what else is on the current biome that we're on the, the land island whatever it is that we're on and uh see what we can find um yeah so basically we're just going to take off on a little whirlwind adventure on our current island see what we can see so here we go hopefully we'll find something interesting something exciting um we're just going to start off a little bit see what we can see keep you with me definitely gonna grab all the next that we find because neck tail is an important part of poison resist mead and uh, I only had a few of them considering that we actually are on a little bit of an inlet and on that inlet there is a essentially a little bit of a lake or pond that has necks that spawn continuously on it um, it's only ones I see so far but I'm sure we'll run into more as we go on our little adventure here but we're heading off this way to uncover... Oh, yeah, like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Um, here, a beehive. I'm definitely going to grab that beehive. We only have eight currently, and that gives us 40 every time they're full, but uh, we're going to start cranking through um, honey like crazy. So the more we have, the better. There's an easier way to do it than shooting an arrow. You can just disassemble whatever house that's currently in, and it'll just fall to the ground. So it makes things a little easier if you have a uh, tin wood or if you can get tin wood pretty quickly from wherever you're at. You don't have to disassemble the whole thing, by the way. I'm just doing it so I have a little bit of wood with me. Eventually, though, I get tired of doing that. I just start disassembling the whole thing. And then all it does is simply fall to the ground and you can pick up the honey and the bee. So it's really handy. There you go. Mushrooms are going to respawn there at that. So it affects not only the ones that you plant, but also ones in the, the world, the, the open world, which is really nice. There I exper experimented with turning it down to an hour respawn versus the four hours that I think is standard. Did I need the boar? No, I don't need the boar. I have one star boars at home, so I'm producing more hide scraps and boar meat currently than I, I actually need. So they were just there and were gonna chase me if I didn't kill them. Put that away. Um, no bees in here, I don't think. Nope, nothing in there at all. So, continue on. Tons of birch out here. Birch? No. The white trees. Whatever the white trees are called. I can't remember off the top of my head. Another beehive here, though. Again, put down our bench. Deconstruct. simply bring it down to you. That's all it takes. We're going to leave that workbench there. We don't need it. We don't need the tin wood, so. But our inventory is almost full already. 
It'd be really handy to have a backpack in Valheim. If any modders out there want to make a backpack for Valheim. And another one. Damn. Strictly going straight for the beehive this time. Lots of wood. We don't need any more wood. Swim across here. Funny, I mentioned this while we were in the video, or while I was recording the video, but I realize now that you're not going to hear me say it, uh, which is kind of good to be honest, because it's better to say it now. If you notice, when I opened the map, there's a spot on there that says Serpent, and that's because when I was on the small boat and we were out headed towards the um, Elder Spawn, I think not very far into us on the boat we actually had a serpent a sea serpent spawn and um, which I was glad for I'll here I'm checking my uh, unarmed yeah checking my unarmed well fists level which is six I think if I remember right yeah six I was checking a Z how far along it is I think it's farther on this Sunday stream I play with my friend grav so I'm checking to see what level it was on here Anyway, spot on the map for a sea serpent spawn. And I realized, see right there, I realized that when I was on the ocean, I opened it and quickly threw a spot down. But uh, I believe that's when the map was zoomed out. So where I actually have it, there's nowhere near where it should be. It's actually inland. So I should have zoomed the map out. Zoom the map in rather uh, before I actually put that spot down. So it's really funny. It's nowhere near where it actually is. <laughs> Which stinks because I'm not going to have any idea where that serpent spawn actually was. Well, I might have loosely a good idea, but it's not going to be nearly as accurate. Because I think they tend to spawn at the same spots. These next. <laughs> Give me your neck tails. Another Ikthir spawn. Odd. It's all the way up here. I guess there does tend to be a couple per map, though. meat stacks to 50 so I've got plenty of room for necktails I was checking I thought that deer was a one star deer but it only ended up being a no star deer so it was good oddly enough though boar meat and deer meat only stack to 20 I don't know why they don't also stack to 50 Always kind of struck me as odd. Should be on level seven, and it is. All right, moving on. I'm 
moved a little farther up. Oh, this is where I'm talking about the serpent spawn. It actually ended up being right about there, so clearly it was all the way inland and not out where it needed to be. Eh, it's fine. Neither here nor there. I don't remember having read this stone before, but it's actually funny. On this spot, a tree fell on my head. And I cursed the gods, so I leave this stone to praise them. <laughs> in hopes they would forgive me for the words. Unfortunately true. So when it falls on your head, well, we all know what happens. No beehive, but money for sure. Those three boars scared the hell out of me. I'm looking for a swamp biome, right? We actually have already seen this one again. I know we've seen this one once. We see it again after the fact. This just says, you know, land's hard and wild, but you know, we're, we're harder and wilder. I'll let you read it. Looking for swamp, and that's not what we found. This, uh, this ends up being what I feel is a humongous mountain biome. Um, I feel like we're going to end up spending a lot of time at this mountain biome. Not what I expected to find. Yeah, there you go. I decided to run that a little bit more because I didn't quite see any white on the map, but there you go, you can start seeing it now. Marking it just so I can make sure that I remember myself where it was. Yeah, again, not what I expected to see, but hey, there it is. Really looking for swamp. So. It is what it is. Continue on. I'm honestly just trying to get a grand idea by skirting the, the biome how big it really is. And it's uh, it's pretty goddamn big. Yeah, yeah, pretty big. Pretty good size. Not exactly what I expected to find up there. <laughs> Not what I expected to find on this uh, island that we're on either, that's for sure. Turns out our spawn island is huger than I thought it was. Now I'm curious what's down to the south from us.
It is unfortunately getting dark. And as we all know from watching Game of Thrones, the night is full of terrors. Sick reference, bro. Although, to be fair, some of the uh, views at night are pretty, pretty beautiful. Or they can be, anyway. Of course, I don't know if you guys heard it, but I heard the bones up here. The skelly bro. And then I see this off to my right. So we know there's a skeleton somewhere. What we didn't expect was it to be a two-star. I also didn't expect for him to be murdering all the um, meadow animals. <laughs> Leaving a bunch of meat laying there for me. So then I had second thoughts and decided, eh, if this is Black Forest, which uh, it looked like it may be, you know, gray doors, etc. But eh, I better go back. And build a portal and go back. And turn it over to daytime. So then I had the bright idea of trying to build on top of this damn thing. Which apparently you can't do. I thought you could. And I still thought I did it, and then I realized it was on the ground. <laughs> Oops. This still doesn't work. Yeah. All right, never mind. We'll take our business elsewhere, sir. the job. I don't think they'll get out there to it, so. And we'll sleep and roll over to daytime. And we're back. Take everything with us. And we'll continue on our exploration journey. Continuing the way we were going, it looks like we're just going to circle back around, so I think we're going to go the opposite way. Because we know we're just going to go around the mountain at this point, so it's really kind of no point.
And I can't stop bleeding. I don't know why. It's a sickness. Take all the things. But hey, as an aside, my bag's empty because I just emptied everything when I came back this morning. the house more damn bees because <laughs> why not <laughs> to be fair it's not a bad thing because now I have eight bee nests on both sides of my starter else Lots more next, but and the pig's coming back for justice. Even though I didn't do anything to him, and it scared me. Which is the funny part. Just gonna stand there. <laughs> Jesus, man. I gave you a chance to run away. You're just gonna stay there. I'll walk up and smack you. <laughs> Stupid deer. I love finding these little villages like this. It just makes the game feel so alive. Like people actually lived here, you know? another bee nest just gonna mark it I don't have time to mess with it right now but I'll mark it and come check it out later I realize how long the video is running Freaking neck spawns. There's a one star neck. And black forest again? Okay. Damn. I would like swamp, please, not black forest. See if you can see my way to bring me black forest. Er, not black forest. See? Can see my way to bring me swamp. That would be amazing. Thank you. Oh, and then there's meadow. Well, black forest. Meadow. Black forest. Kind of both. Make up your mind, game. Let's get rid of this spawner. Come here. Come here. 
deer ran away, but the boar will come back and attack you, so... Unfortunately, they can't be peaceful. The boars, by nature, are naturally buttholes. <laughs> and another village? No, just a house. Looks like. More meadow. And this biome's all over the place. No, I guess we're coming back down into meadow just because we moved back that way, so. That makes sense. Ah, bags are full of crap again. Yep. See? Can't just be friendly. Don't remember if I marked that one. I don't think I did. I probably should have. Eh. Details. Smack that one. Oh well. Let's just shoot it. Na 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 na. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I didn't give you a chance. You ran in front of my arrow. Um, don't need that. Yeah. I like those stacks. I think they actually come with a significant amount of wood in them. I don't know if it's the full 50 or not, but a good chunk. I did mark that one. Good man. Yeah, so we found the coast down the south of our little island, or the southern part of that, that end of the island. Surprise. <laughs> More black forest up there, Jesus. Oh, no. Double, double, triple spawn? That makes sense. I thought it was gonna be. Ah, you ain't hurt nobody. Okay. Oh, yeah, the crypt. So we're going to run into a crypt here that has something interesting. I've not seen it except for this Friday. Was it this Friday or last Sunday? We ran into one like it. Uh, Grab and I, my buddy. One of the crypts in Black Forest where the skeletons guard it. Had an interesting malformation at the door. Spawner over there, spawner to the left. Spawner all the way over there to the north. From where I was, anyway. Goddamn troll.
that hadn't heard me yet. Spawner, knock it down. Yeah, I know you're angry. That's fine, be angry. But be angry while I knock down your sport, your spawner. Star even. Oof. More cover. Come on, hit me. Copper right in the doorway. Look at the map. I was so surprised. I was like, what the hell? But yeah, there's a copper deposit right there in the doorway, but you can still enter. If you hit it just right, you can enter it. The coolest part was opening the map when you're right there and seeing it. the, uh, Coin sec icon of the trader. It's like, holy shit. So, we obviously need to go take down this spawner. Because it's up in that area. Yep, you're done. Looks like a person in there, though. A little figure. That was so odd. The map is deceptively... Think, makes you think you're closer than you really are. Until you zo zoom in on the map. And then there's uh, another crypt right here. Which is just literally right outside the trader. No copper node here though. Which is fine. No problem. Hopefully there's more cores in here. When time comes and we need more cores, we'll zoom in there and look. Until we obviously get to the swamp biome. Bind a certling core. We can make a certling core farm, a certling spawner, and then we can make certling core farm out of it. Hey, buddy. All right, so we need to find somewhere safe to build. And this rock right here will do just fine. So I'm going to struggle for a hot minute to get built up on this thing. That's just the way it is. If you don't struggle, you're not doing it right. To be fair.
And then suddenly every gray dwarf in the black forest in this area decided it was time to come say hello. Like literally everyone. Why right now, I don't know, but we'll be okay on wood for a little while. And a two star, which I hadn't seen one yet this playthrough. Seen them before, but not recently. So yeah. Did this differently after I cut back in. I had it done, but I put the small one up first. And then when you sit down, the camera lowers and you can attach the longer one up next to it. So FYI, that's the way to do that. But I put the workbench down, excuse me, put the workbench closer, flipped it around so I could stand on it, and then jumped up there. To put the portal up so we can get up there. And get back, to turn it over, it's the daytime. This is getting ready to be nighttime here in a minute. And I just wanted the portal up safe out of the way. Because if you put a portal down in the Black Forest, man, I tell you what, the uh, Grey Dwarves, they will knock it down and destroy it quicker than anything you can think of. All right, headed back with all of the trader loot. Everything I can sell, basically, is right there. And here's our trader portal hub. And I actually made a portal there at the base that said trader, and it can reconnect here in three, two, one. Boom. So it's got its own dedicated trader portal. Workbench that you can actually use. A little bit of storage up there. And then a new walkway that is better supported. So the portal's all safe and sound. Even if they break the uh, walkway, it's still fine. <laughs> Sell everything and realize quickly that uh, I am over encumbered as hell because the money in this game is so stinking heavy. That's alright, we're getting ready to fix that. Put Megan Yord on. Boom, suddenly I am good. Ah, uh, now we can carry 450. Super lucky finding this guy today. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the circlet so in the swamp um, crypts, if we ever find one. We can actually see, and actually in the swamp in general, because it's just dark. Uh, Thunderstone, because the Thunderstone lets us build the, I can't remember what it's called, but we need iron first, and then that pattern will pop into our inventory. Um, and then um, the mirror flesh, also I think iron, or possibly silver, is what we need. And then we'll have the <laughs> hammer that slows things, Frostnir, I believe is what it's called. Don't need our fishing rod just yet. We're not going to worry about fishing rod. That's all we're going to get for now. Somewhere on the map now, I hear also, um, he, his sister, I think, is, is who it is. Um, he has a sister as well. Um, I thought he would give us a little flavor text on her, but he never did. Then I missed what he said there. I kept talking to him, hoping he would say something, but he never... He never appeared to give me a, a line for her. I don't think he did anyway. Guess I should read this and see. Yeah. Maybe he would eventually if I just stood there, but he didn't appear to anyway. 
Don't die out there. Yeah, thank you. All right, folks, there you go. Uh, sorry about the voiceover in these two videos. I will pay better attention to the next few, next however many I do. Going forward, I'll make sure that uh, I, I pay better attention and not uh, have to go back and voice over after the fact. But hey, sometimes it's kind of fun just to sit there and watch what I'm doing. <laughs> watch the dumb things that I really, really do. So yeah, there you go, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, and we'll, we'll uh, see you uh, in the next one. As we close out here into the watercolor madness of a portal. Yep, trader portal itself. And we have our explore portal back up. And is this done? Yes. Poison resist meat is done. So now when we find a swamp biome, we're ready to go. Uh, let's put two more meat, poison resist meads in there. There you go. Alright guys. See you in the next one. Thanks so much. Have a good rest of your day.